You're watching Better.TV. None of us enjoy the aging process, and most of us, in fact, try to disguise the evidence. You notice your first few gray hairs, and immediately you pull them out, you change that part, or you run to the colorist to get them dyed. Well, you can calm down and let nature take its course, because gray is the new black. You heard it here first. Melissa Goldstein is the senior beauty and style editor for Better Homes and Gardens. She's here to show us how to embrace it and make it fashionable, right? Thank you. What better yes. person to have come on talk about this as well? Thank you so much. Gray is the new black. You guys gray did is the new black. article in uh, Better Homes and Gardens, and you made over two women. One was younger. She noticed some gray hairs were coming out. You got some solutions here, right? Exactly. How do we embrace it? Basically, what you want to do when you go gray mm -hmm. is you want to talk to a hairstylist. Okay. The irony of the whole situation is that in stopping to color your hair, mm -hmm. you may have to color a little bit more ah. at the very beginning. So you want to meet with the stylist. They're going to see where you have your gradation in mm -hmm. it, whether it's patchy, whether it's you know very yeah. washed out. Um, and if you have a lot of grays at the same time. Okay. Um, so you want to meet with your colors. They're going to cut your hair as short as you can possibly tolerate mm -hmm. it to get rid of the old overgrowth. Okay. And then they're going to work with you on a plan, okay. adding low lights, adding some colors, and just kind of making the transition very seamless. Okay. Now, so one, of the, products one of the things that happens when you go gray is you get white hairs. Mm -hmm. Now, those white hairs are very porous. Okay. Um, and they stain very, very easily. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of women like to use is a a product for gray hair and okay. these are really interesting looking they are this bluish purple color right. but what they do is they help take the yellowing out of your hair so oh. that those white hairs really stay white okay um, white hairs you also know are very kind of um, they're wiry mm -hmm. so you really want to use a conditioner on top of it exactly okay. Okay. so I mean the Aveda Blue Malva um, the Fido, Fido Tarjan is a mm -hmm. huge popular one um, the Davinez a lot of lines have some really great products specifically okay. formulated for gray hair. Perfect. Now, what about women that say that they want full coverage, they want to hide all of the grays? This Absolutely. is a kit here, right? To hide your grays, this is a brand new kit. This okay. comes from Clairol. It's called Perfect 10. Mm -hmm. It basically does your hair. It will color your hair in 10 minutes. Oh, wow. It's the quickest um, hair color that you're going to find on the market today. Okay. But it also has lots of really nice conditioners in it. Okay. So your hair doesn't feel really dry and parched. And then afterwards, I see there's a gloss here. Is it Exactly. Kind of Whenever you're covering your grays, um, hair color, you know, takes a little bit of a toll mm -hmm. on your hair. So a clear shine like the John Frieda Luminous Glaze, what's right. so nice about it is it gives some vitality and dimension to your hair. Uh -huh. And gray, not gray, whatever, yeah. it's something you can always use on your hair to just kind of kick up the amp. The, the difference water. between semi and demi-permanent? Great question. If you're trying to hide your first grays, you uh -huh. want to use a semi-permanent color. Okay. And a semi-permanent color is one that's going to wash it in six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. You'll find it written on a package. It'll okay. say washes out. If you're covering your first grays, get a mascara spool, a clean one, mm -hmm. and just use it to paint over those first grays. Okay. If you have some moderate grain, you want to use a demi-permanent color. The way you'll know it's a demi-permanent is on the box it'll say, that it changes your color with no mm -hmm. ammonia or peroxide, meaning it will change the color, but it doesn't penetrate the hair shaft in quite the same way that a permanent hair color will. That's why you're here, and I'm standing over here. You know this stuff. You guys have to check out her articles in Better Homes and Gardens. Every month, this woman has great tips. Thank you so much. Thank you so Helped much. Help us do it in style.